Your Excellency, President Oruk Inyata, Deputy President William Bruto, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Excellency, for your kind words. I'm delighted to be here in Nairobi. I thank President Kenyatta for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to me and my delegation. I am told, Excellency, that your name, Uhuru, means freedom. In a way, the journey of your life has also been the journey of an independent Kenya. It is an honor for me to be with you today. Friends, Kenya is a valued friend and a trusted partner of India. The bonds between the two countries are long-standing and rich. We share a common legacy of struggle against colonialism. Our historical people-to-people -people ties provide a strong basis to our wide-ranging partnership which extends from agriculture and health to development assistance, from trade and commerce to investment, from closer contacts between our people to capacity building, and from regular political consultations to defense and security cooperation. And today, President and I reviewed all aspects and full range of our relationship. Friends, India is one of the brightest spots in the world economy. And Kenya is a land of strong opportunities. India is Kenya's largest trading partner and the second largest investor here, but there is a potential to achieve much more. <laughs> President and I agreed that our economies can benefit more. If we nurture greater intensity of commercial links, take steps towards a more diversified trade basket and expand our investment ties further, this would also enable greater regional economic prosperity. And in this while, governments would play their part. It is the businesses of the two countries that have a key role and responsibility to drive our commercial partnership. In this context, welcome the India Kenya, Kenya Business Forum to be held later today. India and Kenya are two developing countries. We are also two innovation societies. And the important part is that whether it is the process, products, or technologies, our innovations are relevant not just to our societies, they also help improve the lives of the people in other developing countries. The success of M-PESA is one such classic innovation that has empowered millions the world over. Both sides have been working together in commercial commercializing innovative technologies 
and some of them will be evident at the business forum later today. Friends, the multifaceted development partnership is a key pillar of our bilateral relationship. Our development priorities are more or less aligned. A true and trusted partner, India is ready to share its development experiences and expertise and concessional credit and capacity to assist in Kenya's development objectives. We look forward to early implementation of the Indian lines of credit for projects in agri, mechanization, textiles, and the development of the small and medium sector. We are also encouraged by the progress in the power transmission project under an Indian line of credit of $60 million. Kenya's high successful geothermal sector and energy efficiency projects such as LED-based smart street lighting are a couple of new areas where we could build our engagement. I understand that healthcare is president Oro's key priority. India can join hands with your priorities to shape an affordable and efficient healthcare system in Kenya. <laughs> this would not only meet the needs of your society, it could also help Kenya become a regional medical hub. In this regard, I am happy that prestigious Kenya National Hospital will soon have the state-of-the-art Made in India Cancer Therapy Machine Bhava Trome. We are also donating essential medicines and medical equipment for Kenya's public health system, including for the treatment aids. Friends, we recognize that without the opportunities for the success of our youth, our society cannot grow. For this, we are ready to partner with Kenya in the fields of educational, vocational, education and skill development. Friends, while we are conscious of our development challenges, President and I also share concerns for security and stability. India and Kenya are connected by the Indian Ocean. We both have strong maritime traditions. As such, our closer cooperation in the field of maritime security occupies an important place in our overall defense and security engagement. The MOU on defense cooperation signed just now would strengthen our institutional cooperation between our defense establishments. This will include greater staff exchanges, sharing of expertise and experiences, training and inst institution building, cooperation in hydrography and supply of equipment. President and I recognize that terrorism and the rapid spread of radical ideologies pose a common challenge to our people, our countries, to the region and to the whole. We have agreed to deepen our security partnership including in the fields of cyber security, combating drugs and narcotics and human trafficking. Friends, yesterday, President and I had an unforgettable interaction with the Indian diaspora in Kenya. As President say, they are proud Kenyans, even as they cherish
is their Indian roots. As we shape deeper contact between our economies and societies, they form a trusted bond and a strong bridge. I am also happy to announce that the vibrant Indian culture, which is already a part of Kenya's rich society, will be showcased in a festival of India in Kenya later this year. Excellency, President, in the end, let me once again thank you, the government of Kenya and its people for the warmest of welcomes that I have received. And the people of India, and I look forward to welcoming you in India. Thank you.